Hello, I'm Clarence Datsun from Design for Real. I recently had the opportunity to test three different X-Grids scanners back to back to see how they perform in real world conditions. At the same time, we also explored X-Grids new HD enhancement feature to evaluate how it impacts visual quality. This HD feature works by incorporating additional high resolution photographs into the scanning workflow, offering a new level of detail for demanding XR application. The main issue with image quality is that all of these scanners come with an integrated 360 degree camera. The only exception was the older L2 model, which as far as I know is no longer being sold. The L2 was unique because it worked with an external 360 degree camera, specifically the Insta360. As a result, its optics are slightly different in some ways. If you take a closer look at the details, you'll notice that the L2, working with the Insta360, produces some blurry areas, particularly in reflective surfaces like glass. This blurriness is something you'll often see when scanning. You can also observe this effect in the L2 Pro. It's less pronounced, but it's still there. There's a noticeable lack of clarity in the glass. Now, when using the HD feature, which allows you to add images captured separately with a DSLR or even an iPhone, you get a much clearer image overall. For example, our photographer focused specifically on capturing the glass in high quality because we knew from experience that glass is always tricky in 3D scanning. So we took a lot of additional photos and in the results with HD enhancement, the glass looks much clearer and more realistic. Another clear example is with the railing. In the L2 Pro scan without HD enhancement, the rail appears blurry and lacks definition. This is a common issue with shiny objects, which Gaussian splatting sometimes struggles to handle correctly. You can see that both scanners without HD fail to render the rail in a clean and straight line. But once the HD feature is enabled, the rail appears sharp and properly aligned, which is quite impressive. Moving on, there's another interesting detail. If you look closely at the paint bucket, you'll see that the text on it appears blurry and heavily distorted. Without HD enhancement, it's just not legible or pleasant to look at. In conclusion, if you're aiming to get the highest possible image quality from your X-Grids scanner, enabling the HD enhancement feature is more critical than choosing the most expensive hardware. The K1, when combined with HD enhancement, delivers image results that are very comparable to those of the L2 Pro. This clearly shows just how powerful the HD feature is. It essentially levels the playing field between both scanners in terms of visual output. So rather than relying solely on high-end hardware, investing in the HD workflow is what truly makes the difference.